To say that all the people in my life know me would definitely be the understatement of the year. Let's get into this video. I got a lot of vinyl for Christmas this year. In fact, I didn't just get vinyl. I'm going to show you a few of the other things that I did get. Um, but, and we'll get to the vinyl in just a moment, but... I've got a pretty decent stack of vinyl for Christmas. I don't know what it... You'd think I was into vinyl or something. I don't know, but... Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. First of all, let's get to the... A few of the other things that I did get for, um, Christmas. I got one, one game. I'm not a big gamer, but... I do really like the Assassin's Creed um, franchise, and I didn't have this one for some reason. That's uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I don't know why I was missing this one, but I finally have it, so it doesn't matter anymore. Um, really, really nice. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but I do hear really good things about this game. Uh, so I cannot wait to play it, because like I said, I'm a big fan of the franchise. So, it may be worth me playing this game and figuring out if I really am a big fan of the franchise. Uh, and some movies as well I got. Ocean's Eleven. Weirdly still sealed. Uh, believe it or not, a movie I've not seen, but I do like the cast in this movie. Um, not a big fan of George Clooney, mind, after Batman and Robin, but I do like um, Matt Damon... Brad Pitt, Julia Roberts, and I, I'm somewhat a fan of Andy Garcia from, like, Godfather Part 3, and, oh, what else, was, what was the other movie I saw recently that he was in? I don't remember right now, but there's a couple of movies I've seen that he's really good in, so, at least I think it's the same dude, I could be wrong on that, I probably am, but, there is that, uh, Caddyshack, a guilty pleasure of mine is all these eighties movies, so having getting one that I ha haven't seen yet and have been meaning to check out, really nice. I got a couple of Blu-rays from my lovely, from my wonderful grandmother. Uh, she got me Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. It is the 3D one, but. But it does have the slipcover with it, which I really like. I am a sucker for a good slipcover. And that does mean I now have all the... Uh, the full trilogy of these uh, Planet of the Apes movies. I know you guys didn't really want to know that, but you know anyway. And she also got me Captain America Civil War. Because it is my favourite Marvel movie. And I didn't own it on Blu-ray, so there we go. Um, and while we're on the subject of comic books, my wonderful parents, well, they did get me other things. This is probably, surprisingly, my favourite thing that I got from them, outside of the aftershave and the new bedding that I got. Yeah. You know you're getting old when you get excited about aftershave, bedding, and underwear. <laughs> but you won't be seeing any of that in this video, don't worry. Um, but yes, Avenger, uh, Avengers Assemble Story Collection. Four books involving Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, and Thor. All origin stories with all the stickers. Very nice um, books. They're, they're more like uh, graphic novels than comic books, but they are comic book related. And, yeah, that was a really, really nice gift to get. I was not expecting this, um, but it was it was really, really nice. So there it is. Um, definitely a nice welcome addition into the household. So, that's everything I wanted to show you that is non-vinyl related. Let's get to all the vinyl that I got. I got two 12-inch singles, and then everything else is albums. So I'll show you. The, I'll quickly show you the two 12-inch singles. Um, first up is Brony M, Daddy Cool, um, at, backed with No Woman No Cry. This is really for DJing with more so than anything else. As is this one, Tis for Fears Mad World. 
I've got an 80s night coming up on New Year's Eve, so this will just be perfect. And then you've got ideas as op opiates and saxophones as opiates on the flip side with that one. So yeah, that would be really good for the 80s night, and that's just good for DJing anyway, because it's cheesy and people love cheesy where I'm from. So, nice to have those. Um, I'm a big fan of Grover Washington Jr., so to get Reed Seed on vinyl is really nice. Uh, it is American press. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the pressings of these, but this was a really, really nice addition. Uh, Motown. I think it's one of the few that Rover released on Motown. But yeah, just a fantastic album. Nice album to listen to, and it's just a phenomenal piece of work there. So nice to get that one. Uh, ACDC Let There Be Rock. I did need an upgrade of this one, and I got it Hit for Christmas this year. Really, really nice. Um, upgrade. I mean the cover's not much better but the vinyl of course is a lot better condition wise. So that was a really really nice and welcome addition for me for Christmas. I mean ACDC easily a top band of mine. I do like a lot of their work especially a lot of their 70s to early 80s work and so that to get a nicer a copy a listenable copy of this is is really nice because my copy was like super crackly and it was just unlistenable so but there we go uh, a couple of ABBA albums you'd think I was into ABBA but <laughs> no I love ABBA one of my favorite groups probably of all time um, so we've got Voulez-vous which has a lot of songs I know on here already. Voulez-vous, I Have a Dream, Angel Eyes, Does Your Mother Know, uh, Chiquitita, probably, which is probably my favourite ABBA song. I knew you guys didn't really care, but there you go. Nice mint copy of Voulez-vous, people really know me. And then they also, and then I also got um, ABBA's self-titled album, which has the Mamma Mia on this one, as well as SOS. So yeah, this is the big one. This really is the big one. And I guess with um, Mamma Mia on it. And that brings me two albums closer to getting um, all of ABBA's um, studio albums. Because yes, believe it or not, I do want to be complete on ABBA because every album is something good. But I like a lot of the album tracks as well that you don't get on the greatest hits. So it's nice to have those individual albums. Um, Isaac Hayes, Hot Buttered Soul. Last time I did a video, or well, two videos ago, I got the sh I showed you guys the Shaft soundtrack, and, so, and inside there was four albums from Isaac Hayes. I said I wanted to get, and it, that I already had one of them. Well, this is another one I can cross off my list. Hot Buttered Soul, wonderful, wonderful album. Of course, has a um, Walk On By on it, which is, uh, I think, one of the most sampled songs from Isaac Hayes out there, that and The Look of Love by him as well. Um, I, I know Wu-Tang sampled it, I think Beyonce sampled it in recent years, but yeah, it was really nice to get another Isaac Hayes album, big, big Isaac Hayes fan, and yeah, definitely had to grab that. And a soundtrack to a movie I didn't watch until this year, but was a movie, probably my favourite watch of this year just because of how good the movie was, and that's Taxi Driver. Brilliant, brilliant movie, brilliant performance from um, Robert De Niro here, and everyone just does a fantastic job, of course. Um, Jodie Foster does brilliantly. Even Sybil Shepherd does a great job of this, or in this movie. It really is worth the worth the worth the watch this movie and the soundtrack to it is very nice as well. I think the soundtrack was probably my favourite thing, so to find that is really good. And I'm pretty sure this is a rare soundtrack as well. Because I've never seen it, so it was nice to grab a copy of that for Christmas. 
Derek Harriet, Songs for Midnight Lovers. It is a compilation, but it does have The Loser on it, which is probably Derek Harriet's favorite song, and I believe he's one of the first reggae artists to sign a record deal, I'm pretty sure. That's the story, but yeah, Derek Harriet. Really, really good. Good compilation from him, and just nice to have it. Is that one? Ha nice to have that one. Uh, Casey and the Sunshine Band, Do It Good. Don't didn't know don't know anything about this album. Haven't had a chance to listen to most of these yet, but most of these I know what they were. Uh, I do like Casey and the Sunshine Band quite a bit. Um, it's nice to have uh, an album of theirs instead of just individual singles and individual songs. So. Uh, and of course, Do It Good is the big track off of this album, so nice to have that. And I do like the artwork as well. I mean, just look at that artwork. That's pretty phenomenal. Uh, so yeah, Casey and the Sunshine Band. And then I got Fresh. Fresh out of board stool. This is actually something I had on my wants list for a long time. And so I finally got a copy. I don't know who has been looking at my wants list but I got this and this was great so uh, I mean I think it's a reissue of this but like I've always said uh, I'm not I'm never ever bothered if I get a reissue of anything because sometimes the reissues can sound better and also sometimes the reissue is just the cheaper option and when you're on a budget like me at the moment or even the people that buy me vinyl you know, I'm not, I've learned to appreciate a reissue. Uh, next up, Duran Duran, Notorious. Of course, the big track on here is Notorious. Uh, 86 is the year on this album. Again, like how it comes with the original inner. Really, really nice album from them. I do, I have been getting into Duran Duran this year recently as well, and while I wanted to kind of start at the beginning with their discography, their albums seem to be getting harder and harder to find, so that's a really, really nice um, gift for Christmas there. And next up we have Rush Moving Parts. Is it Moving Parts? Moving Pictures, excuse me. But of course, uh, Tom Sawyer is the big song on this album. If you know Rush, someone really wanted to, me to get into Rush, and they did a good job of it of it with this album. And I recognised Tom Sawyer straight away because not only was it big, even on the radio when I was growing up, but it was also used in uh, Ready Player One this year, which I had mixed feelings on that movie. But yeah, Tom Sawyer was used in. Um, Ready Player One, so I can't knock it for that. That's probably where the Rush addiction started, and then someone got me Rush for Christmas. So if someone's been... I think 2018's been the year where it's been hinting, oh, you should get into Rush. And it finally happened. Uh, Angela Clemens. This is one... my This this and the next one up are the ones my boss gave me. Um... This is disco. It's that late 80s disco. I didn't know anything about this. Uh, I still haven't checked it out other than the opening track, um, BYOB. Which is really good. So, yeah, I can't wait to check out the rest of this album and see what it has in store. Because I do like a bit of... To be honest, I do like a lot of disco, especially that late 70s stuff, but heading more into the late 80s as well, not so much the early 80s, because that's more the R&B time of the soul scene, whereas as it was the early 70s that you had the disco, and yeah, this is it. And then the final thing, my bo anyway, moving on, um, from that, because I'm sure you guys know about the scene more than I do, like I've always said on this channel, I'm no expert. Um, but the n final thing my boss got me for Christmas was a copy of Frank Ocean's Channel Orange. I've always wanted this album. Um, 
because it is my favourite from him. And the song Lost is really good on here. Thinking about you. Pyramids are all really good. And yeah, while this album was never officially on vinyl, I am happy to own it because it's, like I said, it's my favourite Frank Ocean album. And probably the only one I can listen to all the way through from start to finish. But it's still a very, very good um, album. Nonetheless, so there it is, Channel Orange by Frank Ocean. And that and the next thing are probably my two favourite albums that I got. I shouldn't be picking favourites with what I've got here, but I I, I have. And uh, yeah, I got Born Again by Notorious B.I.G. And this is a little gift from my other grandmother. Not the one that got me the uh, movies, but the one that... Got me some uh, this and some clothes, so really nice to get this with a reissue, but no, a not really nice reissue. Sounds really good, and I did I could not have got to my record player any quicker. I couldn't have. I mean, it was just I got this, and it's like, oh my god. Yes, because I didn't have a lot of Biggie, believe it or not. I think now the only one I'm really missing is Life After Death and Greatest Hits. Um, but yeah, that this was a really nice gift. Not Biggie's best album, it is a posthumous release, which is probably why there's loads of um, features on here, because Biggie mm, never, I don't think, ever finished this album properly. There's a couple of songs on here that don't have feature features, but um, most of them do. So, there it is, Born Again by Biggie, and that is it. In fact, let me, while we're on the lines of Biggie, let me show you one more thing I got. That I forgot to pull for this video. I forgot to pull this for the video, but this is the other thing my nan um, got me these got me for Christmas, and that is a t-shirt. It, I don't know how well you can see it, but it is a Biggie t-shirt. It says Reasonable Doubt on it, which is an out the song off Biggie's first album. There's Biggie there. And yeah, just a really, really nice t-shirt. So, of course I had to grab that, um, well, I didn't grab it, she did, but I really like that t-shirt, so nice to have that so that's pretty much everything that I got for Christmas that I think is you guys would want to see I mean I know everything I'm super happy about everything that I got um, and super happy to have people around me who are buying me all these wonderful and nice gifts so um, I want to thank everybody for watching I hope you guys had a good Christmas that oh excuse me uh, let me know what your favourite present that you received was. Also, let me know what um, your favourite present that you gave was, because I'm really interested to know. And uh, once again, hope you guys had a good Christmas. Thanks again for tuning back into the channel, and I will see you guys again very shortly. And you will see me again probably on New Year's Eve, maybe. Anyways, that's going to be it. Peace.